This is a Ryan Nittle production. First time I hit the brakes, I I was surprised. Like I didn't think it was gonna break that that much. It has Brembo brakes, so that's that's why. Let me do a little pull right here. Wow, it, it just like shoots you in the seat. Um, you get you do have a little bit of a spot where nothing happens, but you get I I'd say you pass around 3,500 RPMs. And that's when it really shoots you into your seat. So it's really, um, I could tell it's really refined. The inside, it's completely quiet. Uh, you do get a little bit of um, engine noise when, when you're higher in the RPMs, but lower, you, you don't hear anything. I, I rolled down the windows earlier because I, I thought it was too quiet. Um, and I, I think you should maybe, if you want this car, you should maybe add an exhaust to it just to um, wake up that motor and wake up the sound a little bit. It, because yeah, it, it sounds too quiet for being a muscle car. I, I would expect a little bit more, more sound coming from the engine. Uh, but that that's uh, that goes to show you how refined Mustang or Ford has made this car. Um, over the years, these cars have gotten a lot of hate because of, like I said, um, losing control or um, not being refined enough. But they really refined this one. But um, the question is, is it too refined? Um, you, I kind of do want want some of that uh, the raw nature to an American muscle car uh, so I I would have left made the exhaust a little bit louder but um, it depend it depends who their target market is and who they're trying to sell the car to um, so they had the the v4 EcoBoost and they had a v6 but there's the the v8 I um, there's the GT 350 I believe that's higher, um, a trim higher than this, but this one is pretty quick. Just, just uh, driving it around a little bit, it, it feels very fast. So we're gonna go on some back roads right now. Do another little pull. The clutch is very soft compared to what I had heard uh, about Mustangs, but um, it's it's very fun to drive. I actually really 
like it. Looks wise from the outside there's a blue color and the color is awesome. Um, in this year 2015 I do prefer the the way the Camaro looks and the Challenger looks more than the Mustang. The owner was actually wanting the wanting to get a Camaro before he got the Mustang and um, his reasoning was he could get a, a newer Mustang or an older Camaro SS obviously you're gonna choose for the Mustang and this has very low miles <laughs> it's fun but uh yeah this has around 16,000 miles so it's practically practically brand new video.